guess what, folks? I have a camera. It's minorly broken, but it's a camera. Say hi, Jace. Is that the one you borrowed? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it, for us, it flashes an error across the screen. It's an old camera from a friend of ours. And... Which we greatly appreciate Yes, that. we're greatly appreciating it. And there's actually a hair on the lens. So, I don't know if you can see that, but starting out our day, Jason and I are going to the church after we take Ashley to the bus to get apples. And if you haven't joined us in the past for Apple Day, <laughs> it's going to be a fun one, but it's raining outside. That always makes it more of a miserable fall day to get apples. I will link some of my apple videos here. It's just a fun, like, tradition now. I get them from my friend Vince. He brings them over from Eastern Washington. He has a vineyard out there. But yesterday, I thought I would reminded myself that I needed to show you this trick. I'm making my protein drink. This has become a good habit for me. I was tempted yesterday to go and get a little um, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit on my way home from going to the UPS store to take my old camera to get shipped off to get fixed, but I didn't. Came home, did not get anything. Came home and had my protein drink, but I wanted to show you my little trick to cleaning it. So I'm gonna pour it into my cup really quick and then I'll show you how I clean it out really fast. Because part of the problem that I have is making things easy and making them a habit. So if I can make them easy and make them a habit, then I can totally change it. You wanna say hi? Hi. Uh, show them your cast. How many signatures do you have? I don't know. A lot, huh? You have a lot of cute so friends Kaylee that wanted was, to sign it, huh? Kaylee was the first one. Kaylee was the first one, and right? And Kelsey was like the... Also, this doesn't have as wide of a lens as, mm -hmm. <laughs> as my other camera. So I have to hold it way far away. So if I'm really close, I, I'm sorry, I'm not used to this camera. Anyway, so we're going to show you this little trick because I'm making it more of a habit and it's, it's helping a lot. Okay. So then here's my trick for the blender. Now this probably will be the case for any blender. I hate having them stuck on the counter dirty then it like, you know, gets stuck in there and then you can't put it in the dishwasher. So here's my trick. All right, my first thing that I do is I just give it a general rinse. Just kind of get off the major stuff from the cup. Nothing big, just a rough rinse. Then I put a little bit of water in here. Again, not very much. Then I squirt some soap in, just a little bit of pump. And then I put it back on the blender. That, grab my lid, put that on, and turn it on if I can. Okay, and it's all washed out. All I have to do is rinse it off in the sink. I usually just take this, dump it on the lid. Look at all that sud. Cleans out my sink too. I could take my scrub brush and rinse out the sink too. But then I just get to let it air dry and it's all done. I, we stay for the whole time they're doing the apples. It's 11 o'clock already and it's just so fun to talk to everyone. Some of these people I only see once a year at the apples and it was nice to have him here because he got to climb up and get all the apples for us. And Vince, the guy that does it, he won't ever be on camera. <laughs> he gets mad at me when he sees the camera and don't you dare. He, he just is, feels awkward. He feels awkward. He's my dad's age and he loves my dad. He's met him a few times and sent, I had to tell him about my mom. He didn't know about my mom and I didn't want to tell him in an email. So we were talking, I was talking to him about that and um, here at the end. But it's just so fun to like see people that I only see once a year because they don't go to church with us in our building. So this is, and they love it. And like people have been, one guy said he's been doing this for five or six years. Someone else was like, I've been coming since you started. So that was like 10 plus years ago. So, oh, that's our apples. <laughs> 
it's just, I don't know, it's a fun tradition and it kind of was stinky that it was rainy today, but it doesn't take away from the experience. It's just kind of fun to like, you know, see him. I don't know what. You talk with people. I don't really talk with people. I know. He came and sat in the car, but are we going to Costco? No, we're going oh, go to take the shoe off, off the shoe, to and someone. I got to go to the post office, then we can go to Costco. Okay. So that's our plan. But we need to go find, um, cover your assets because Marla doesn't have it anymore oh. and we're playing tonight. So oh, we learned another game at our friend's house last weekend. But it takes like one. four decks of cards and you I mean, really you have to have teams so yeah it's a little different but I mean, so i don't know that we can play that game tonight so i've got a maybe we go to north bend she said there's a game store up in north bend that maybe well, we why can don't go we to. call them before we drive all the way oh up that's there. a good idea yeah uh, that's a good idea all right i'll do that mr i like to go do things in person yes you like do the bank and... but that's far enough away north bend is like yes. 20 25 it's minutes a game away store not like target really critical things so. okay we're gonna go. Did you just say Target? Yes. <laughs> I was talking about things that well, require target. like customer service and personal things. Stop. Like they... I was talking about Target being five minutes away. Jason's a happy man. Oh, you gotta get it. Tis the season. Tis the season. All right, we are back at home. I didn't really show you the Costco stuff because it wasn't anything unusual. Ironically, Jason's dad is trying to get rid of carbs as well. So he gave us all of his. And two more loaves of bread and some, I don't even know what else. And so Jason just threw it away. He's like, I'm gonna try and do this with you. So I don't need my car extra carbs as well. But we did pick up this bread from Costco. Yeah, it's wet in here. I need to get, I need to figure out why this is wet inside there. But we did pick up this bread from Costco. It's the, what is it called? The Dave's, Dave's bread, Dave's killer bread. We tried it, they had it as the sample and they had like, you know, jam on it or whatever. And Jason's like, it has lots of nuts and lots of grains in there. I know it'd be good for me, but if I have this like toast like this, I can probably manage it like once a day, but I could not eat it. I think they're our fridge. I think has some ice built up on the back of it. We had that built up a couple years ago because there's a bunch of water dripping down in here. So we're kind of in the mode right now of getting some of the stuff like that, except that's gonna take a lot more work. Now we have an extra fridge we can put stuff in, but getting stuff taken care of so that they're not problems for the kids when we're gone. Problems for the kids when we're gone. Oh dear, that's a nice view. Back here. I thought we had this cleaned out. Well, we did. Kind of put a few things in there. So we've taken the air conditioning units out of the windows because it's starting to make my room in here really cold. And so we've taken that out of the window, packaging it all up and putting it away. But now we've got to like get it back in here. I'd say we did a really good job though of keeping this fairly organized, wouldn't you say? I've organized and so I've got some extra Tupperware. I think that's what's in his way. The stuff right back here. This is more than we had when we started because I've decluttered and... There's my bag. Oh, you're saving your old bag. I am saving my old bag because the new one's breaking. Yeah. And it's gonna last half I tried to save money by not getting like a hundred dollar bag. Well, but you get what you pay for. <laughs> yep, get what you pay for. I appreciate what you got. That's a shoe bucket, not a soccer bucket. The soccer ball needs to go outside. So I don't know why it's in here. Okay. We are going to, I'll show you what else we're going to do. And by me, I mean Jason. I'm going to get this soccer ball out of here. All the way, nope, all the way out of here. Out of here. We're going to actually like get outside. Get out of there. Except I don't want it to go underneath the car. Perfect. All right. This camera doesn't do as good with lighting. So the next thing we need to do after we get the AC units put away is to clean out the filter on the washing machine. Right now I'm just letting it air out because the load just came out. But we're gonna pull out the filter and drain that. And then hopefully we'll be able to pull out the filter on that, like the lint trap on the dryer, because it won't go down in all the way. I'll show you when that load is done. But I need to clean out the lint underneath the lint holder. And if it was, 
after two or three o'clock, I would say we wouldn't do this kind of stuff, get a break or whatever until the kids get home, but it's only not even one. So <laughs> we have a little bit of time to get some stuff done and then take a break. I don't have any videos to edit until this one is done. And then we're gonna go out with our friends and we found someone else who has the game Cover Your Assets. We just can't find it at stores. We actually called the store our friend told us to go look at and they it was like some old man. It wasn't an actual store. So I can't find the number to call, but it's like 20 minutes away and I don't wanna like waste an hour going to get it and coming back. Okay, we're gonna put the AC unit away. We should vacuum this stuff. Okay, let's get it downstairs. Yeah. So Jason's taken out the one from our bedroom. I do like using the fan, but we can use a regular fan. I guess. It's probably more efficient. Yeah. Here, let me see the bag. Here's the bag. I don't know where the cover pouches know. are. We've had covers for these. Like, uh, maybe they're over here. This is our secret stash in our bedroom. This is where we pile all the pillows that no one wants, but then they come in handy when people come over. All right, let's start pushing this one toward the stairs. Thank you. I'll take that and you take the, no, I'll, I'll take this and you take that. <laughs> Just show your manpower. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I could do it if he wasn't here. I would totally you could, you do could. it. Capable. But it's all right. Also, I'm trying to teach my kids a lesson. I'm gonna call them out. Towels won't get cleaned sitting outside their bathroom door if they don't get brought down. I'm not their maid. This isn't a hotel. You don't get to leave your laundry outside your door and expect it to get taken and done. Same goes for my bathroom. The younger two shower in here and drop their clothes. So I refuse. They've been here a week. Chelsea has already come to get a pair of pants from here. They were dirty. Told them I'm not your maid. If this ends up in your laundry basket and you bring it down, I will wash it. Otherwise, it's gonna sit here for another week. tucked away for the season and the pathway is made clear again it's really nice to having it that way we also pulled out a travel bag for Jason I'm gonna go ahead and just take that upstairs because we're going to need that very soon all right here in the laundry room I'm gonna take this load out and fold it and I've swept in here and prepped this area to get drained I don't want to use this towel because the stuff that comes out of here is nasty and that's my good bathroom towel uh, we could use the blue towel that's up in their laundry pile, like that pile of towels. Okay, the lighting on. Oh, it's still recording. All right, trick to doing the washing machine is to use a bowl. You take this one, and you take out the hose, right? Yeah, I think so. And you drain it that's into the bowl. Really yeah, well. Okay, tube is out. Take off the top little nozzle and then you drain it. And then we'll pull out the little drain thing right there. <laughs> we'll pull that out and clean that out. Kind of dark, isn't it? Okay, we're on the third bucket to drain. It's not full, it's just enough that it, when you tilt it, it's going to spill over. So I'm going to move over to here and show you the lint trap. I don't know if you can tell, it doesn't go down all the way. That's why our towels aren't drying all the way. So I'm gonna clean this out, but I'm also gonna try and clean out down inside there. Jason's pulled out the headlamp for this one so you guys can see it. Hopefully we got all the water out. Yeah. Oh, oh, you guys, that is so nasty. Let me go to disposal. That's so gross. All right, got it all cleaned out. Yeah, cleaned it out. A lot out. better, now we put it back in. 
way less mess than we used to make now that we know that you drain the water out with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> we did not realize that. And nope. what is this? Go the opposite way. Why won't that screw in? Uh, it just takes a little bit to turn it. So Jason's going to dive in here and see if he can use his headlamp to kind of look down inside the little... I don't want to have to take it apart. That's what people say is you take this whole little... I'll show you when he pulls Give it. Give me the... Those oh, I'll get you those skewers. garbage bags. Oh, the skewers might grab it better. Yeah. That's and a lot though. It's just... Yeah, and then that's where's a the lot. garbage bag? Here's a lint bag to keep here in the laundry room. Alright, I'll go get you a little skewer stick. These might grip the lint better. Try that. Oh, my ring. Anyway, there's more coming out. It's a lot. Quite helpful to do this, babe. Thank you. I could have done it. You just had the headlamp down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what tipped the balance there. Mm -hmm. Would you let me wear your head headlamp? Yeah, my leg's cramping. <laughs> I know, kneeing on the hard floor is yeah, hard on our old bodies. Little mat go? I took it out so that it didn't get covered in gross water. Yeah. Good thinking, hon. And then this time we didn't have any water come out. You're getting a ton out. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, we're going to test it. We're going to try and put this back in it, and if it closes all the way... Ah, that's awesome. Good job. I know, thank you. You get all the credit, dude. All the credit. I can do all this stuff without you here, honey. I just love to do it with you. <laughs> There's a lot that I don't need him around for. Like, we were just folding laundry. And I was like, no, no, no. Don't put that sock there. Don't get into the mismatched socks. Like, don't mess with my system. Because he just... I don't like it when he messes with things. This needs yes. to go back into the closet. That only took us 30 minutes to do. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. You are free. I'm just kidding. <laughs> recess, I get recess. Yeah, you get recess. And then it's game on again. Anyway, I wanted to put this runner back on the table. I washed it and then laid it out to dry. But a certain someone in the family has not wiped her counters down in three days. And I'm kind of starting to be a stickler, as I showed you with the laundry, about kids getting their chores done. And me just making it, allowing it to be messy. Gets to a point where sometimes, you know, and Kaylee will say, I don't have any bowls anymore. Well, you could ask your sister to unload. And you actually could, we should- help your sister unload. Yeah, you could. Actually, starting today, probably tomorrow, we actually need to start enforcing them to start loading the dishes. Kaylee and Abby are going to rotate our loading dishes to see how annoying it is and to learn another chore, but also because when we're gone, Grandpa ain't gonna load their dishes or whoever else is coming over to check on them or be with them or whatever. I'm not making them load dishes for my own kids. So, starting, I think that they have some time before we go. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much time. <laughs> But um, I think they have enough time to like get in the habit of doing it. So, oh, it's Kaylee. Where did you put? The monster? <laughs> oh. She, does she know you have a case of it? Yeah. She found out we have a case of monster and how did she find that out? I bet Jacob told her from a video. No, I told her um, that I had it stashed and I had more of them. She just needed to ask me. Oh. <laughs> We're starting to hide food from our kids, too. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I don't have a video to edit. I don't really feel like editing this one right away. So I think we're going to watch a show. Do you want to watch a movie together or do you want to watch your own thing? It all depends on what you let me watch. <laughs> well, I want to watch Bed of Roses, but I can't find it. You should look. Well, why did it get taken upstairs? It's you don't watch Chick Flicks? No, I've gone... Kids, and you got to pull them. They're underneath each other. They're put on top. Or they're just... I've gone... Uh-uh. Th I've gone through that whole bucket. bucket. Uh-uh. I've gone through that whole bucket. You have a ton upstairs. Okay, go look for them. All right. I'm going to go find a movie to watch. This is his reward. <laughs> yeah. Do you, need, do you need a bigger piece? Oh, he does. He's going in wow. for another one. 
Cutting it in half to try and pretend like you're not going to come back for the other half of that one? Maybe. Maybe later tonight. I've got to save some for tonight. You don't need any more. This is your problem. It's one of them. I have, a fr I have a problem with fries and Coke, but you have a problem with sweets in yeah. a big way. Yeah. This may not be the last time you get a pumpkin pie before Thanksgiving. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Look at We're this. like two months away. <laughs> of course I'm going to get more pumpkin pie. It doesn't fit in this fridge. I told you, you have to take it out to the other one. Oh, what was that? Because that's where eggs go. Whoa. Wow. Well, because we need to bring all the eggs in. So let's see what you say tomorrow morning when you need to bring oh, eggs in. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine right there. Maybe, maybe you should only get Hawaii once every two years. <laughs> that ain't happening. Yeah. He'd be a fool to let that happen. <laughs> or I'd just go by myself. I'd be like, Abby, you want to go to Hawaii? And she'd be like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Eat your pumpkin pie. We don't have any whipped cream, do we? No, we do not. You guys, I just had, I'm really hot. <laughs> I just had such a good experience at Old Navy. I was just gonna add it into the day and continue on as normal, but I think I'm gonna separate it out and do it in a separate video because the reason why I'm here is because someone else did a video and was brave as a plus size woman and did a try on haul in Old Navy and showed the sizes and showed how they fit them and it gave me the courage to come in and even just try them things on and okay maybe they actually will fit my body and Old Navy is doing this whole body quality right where they put all of the sizes in every style all in the same sections so be right back all right so I left my camera at home uh, when we went over to our friend's house to go play games and now we're coming home and it has been super windy and the, our friend's house they had their their power flickering on and off they kind of live on a little like loud cabin house oh, nice tucked away it's, just on the yeah town. Nice. but um anyway it's super windy and there are down branches on the road let me big see if branches. i can show you big branches hang on so yeah we'll see if we have any more on the road coming up here we've already had to like go over a couple of them because it was blocking the whole road but i'm glad that it's not this oh big water oh yeah you saw that guy the big water yeah Whoa. oh it's flooding over this Whoa, it's yeah really flooded. let's go through the big water jason holy moly that was a ton the problem is through this area this is where it floods from the river like literally what he just did this whole thing houses and, right here but they took them away because they kept flooding yeah they were all in the flood zone what oh what i said turn around so people can hear see, them oh top okay than just road. anyway we'll see if we uh find any more branches in the road as we go home all right we're almost home haven't seen too much more uh they, the we road that we took. all those good branches we should have Yeah, the first ones. Um, but they did, the, the main road that we come home on, they literally have spent the last two weeks tree trimming. And I think they literally cut away everything that would have fallen tonight, which is a good thing. That's why they do it. Because the trees here will just grow up and over the roads like crazy. Just because, whatever. But this is like the hardest it's rained in months. We had like one of the driest summers. We, I think they went like 60 days or something without rain, which is, that's a long time for Seattle. <laughs> so this is like the first storm we've had this fall, you know, since like the springtime, a long time. So, and the leaves are all starting to change. And so the branches are getting more brittle. And so, you know, I don't know, but yeah. we're tired. It is late. I have to work tomorrow. He has to work tomorrow, so we're gonna sign off. There's some branches. And um, anyway, that's the most exciting our night's gotten. We Thanks had a good time. It. We played Cover Your Assets, and what was the other game we played? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, what's the... What is this? Nerd? 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 I don't know. Fun game. Now we need to get some more cards. We're on a mission to find all these games ourselves. We keep having to borrow them. <laughs> so, yeah, right down like below 
what games do you guys like to play? What games you like to play? Even if it's an old classic one, just write down what games you like to play. We've kind of been into playing card games. That's what we're, you know, kind of doing now. Not like board games or anything, but anyway, yeah, leave us a comment with what games you guys play and we will see you guys next time. Take care.